In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add this straight lump, some cars and other manipulate using the props along spline system. The props along spline system has already been, been discussed in the road section, so feel free to look at it for more detail. Here, we'll start by clicking on the plus sign to add a new slot and call it straight lump and scroll down and click on the plus sign next to mesh field to add a new mesh slot go to your control browser and select sm strength lamp a and set it here we start by offset offsetting the y by this value and the plus spacing to this now we need to rotate the mesh by no now click the on, on the plus sign to add one more mesh and set, search for straight lump and choose this one now you have to make sure that the plus split system is set to hold that is all for the straight lump now click on the plus sign to add one more and we'll add uh, the car parking light Scroll down until you see mesh field, mesh field and click on the plus sign to add a new mesh slot and search for SM Parking Line and choose this one. We need to offset it to this value and the plus spacing set to this value. I think we should scale it down a bit. So come to min and max transform, expand them and set the scale to 0.5 and the max transform scale to 0.52. Now I think it is good to go. Lots but make sure that you set it the proper visibility to height for bridge. We don't want it to span for bridge. So we just hide it for bridge. Now click on the plus sign to add a new slot and call it car. Set the post bridge visibility to hide for bridge. Then come in the mesh field and click on the plus sign and search for SM vector vehicle and select this one and set the post spacing to 800 and come to props offset and set the props of the offset y to 500 and we need to set the props or the offset x to 400 that is how we go to add the cars and come to set ignore global z offset to two so that it won't pop up in the air and change the Results provide to 0.7. Now, make sure that you set the car parking line to also ignore global Z offsets. 